is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at the module, The Garnet Leaf. So this is the way the module looks. It has a series of four different icons uh, on the module here, along with four different of those same buttons at the bottom here. And each of these guys will represent a series of different factions. Uh, we have the four factions on this module are going to refer to as Mafia, which is the red Tommy gun, as we can see by uh, Kyung Ren. Uh, the cartel is going to be the green rifle. The police is going to be the black badge, in this case. And the beggar is going to be the white bull. That's referring to the background, and that's referring to the object. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out um, what option is going to be the uh, correct option to select. We're trying to join a specific faction based off of this game. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a series of calculations and sort of tell if people are lying or not about what faction they specifically claim. Now, there is a little bit of terminology that I need to stress on here that is very important. Um, claiming refers to what they do on the module. So this, so in this case, Kyung Hoon claims beggar, uh, Kyung Ran claims uh, mafia, Jun, uh, Jin Ho, Jin Ho uh, claims the police. Uh, in this case, that is what each of them are claiming. However, some of these people might be lying about what they do. But what matters is, is when it re refers to claiming, it refers to what is actually on the module, as we can see right here. And uh, I would like to say a fair warning, uh, apologies if I actually uh, butcher some of these names. Uh, it is expected for me to do so, um, and I don't really want any criticism whatsoever. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So our goal is to figure out which faction we're going to be joining here based off of a, a little bit of a scoring mechanism to earn the four gar uh, to earn the most uh, the best op possible option of the four garnets that are available to be won. So. We're going to go through a series of different rules, and, but the first thing that we need to do is we need to determine which factions these people are actually a part of. So that what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to be taking a look at table A, and then we're going to be taking a look at table B for potential liars. So our goal here is we're going to look up the names of the other players in table A to see if they are lying. If the player is lying, then the faction they actually selected is determined by the row corresponding to the first true statement in table B. So... If we take a look here, let's try and figure out our first true statement. So, uh, there is more than one vowel in the serial number as our first true one, uh, as our first one? Nope. Uh, there are four digits in the serial number? Nope. There is a port plate which has an RJ45, a stereo RCA, a PS2, and a DVI-D port, which in this case refers to the all four of them. Uh, in this case, we're close, however, there is no DVI present in this. It needs to have all four of them. Uh, there are at least three empty port plates. In this case, that is not true. Next up, there is exactly one battery. Nope. Uh, there are at least four distinct port types. That is true because we at least ha we have a parallel serial, and then we have RJ RJ45, RCA, and a PS2. That is five distinct port types. Unique refers to exactly one on the module. This refers to just different types. So in this case, this is going to be our first true rule. So now what's going to happen is, is for example, if we have one of these guys lying, for example, let's take a beggar, we're going to put this claim up in the column here, and what the uh, intersection is going to give us is what the person's actual faction is, not what they claim to be. So that's going to be them. To, that's going to. This is what a true faction is going to be a part of. However, this is what they refer to as claims on the module. So let's take a look and let's see who exactly is lying. So in this case, let's note down what we actually have from beforehand. So we have beggar, we have mafia, we have police. We have beggar, lots of beggars this time around. Uh, we have cartel, cartel. We have beggar, and we finally have a beggar. Yep. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the name, and we're going to take a look at table A. Now each of these rules refer to if it is true, then they are lying. I am lying if etc. etc. Et I'm lying if it means I would be a beggar. I'm lying if I claim police are beggar, etc. etc. So our first name is going to be uh, Kyung Hoon. Kyung Hoon's rule is going to be, I am lying if there are more Mafia claims than Cartel claims. In this case, Mafia and Cartel are the exact same, so this rule is false. He is not lying, he is actually a beggar. So beg is what we're going to write down for this right here. I'm going to write down what was originally on the module, uh, or rather the claims anyways, and I'm going to write down what these people actually are with another set down here. Next up, Kyung Ran. Uh, Kyung Ran is going to be, I am lying if I claimed mar mar Mafia or Cartel. In this case, he actually did claim uh, Mafia or Cartel. Uh, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the bottom here, and what, based off of its claim, in this case Mafia, we're going to switch this to a police, based off of this rule here. So now, this guy is going to become a police. Next up, 
uh, we have Junho. Junho is going to be, there, I'm lying if there is a 1-2-3 game or an English Entries module on the bomb. In this case, this is the only module on the bomb, so this rule is not true. Jinho is not lying, so this is going to be staying the same as police. Next up, uh, Yunsun. Yunsun is going to be right here. Uh, one faction has been claimed four or more times. I am lying if one faction has been claimed four or more times. In this case, beggar has been claimed four different times. So in this case, this guy is lying. So Yunsun, beggar, the beggar is the claim. Cartel is the actual um, faction that he's a part of, Cartel. Okay, next rule. Uh, Yu Yun. Yu Yun is going to be right over here. Uh, I am lying if it would make the total number of lying players odd. Now, this rule we actually have to come back to because of the fact that we have to go through each of these individual, um, each of the other guys, and then we'll know if, the, uh, if I'm lying if it would make the total number of players odd. So... What we want to essentially do is we want to essentially wait for the end for this last one here. This is sort of the weirder one. And if we happen to have an even amount of lies, in this case, if we happen to have 0, 2, 4, etc., etc., this case would be true because of the fact that if we happen to apply this rule once again, that would be counting as an odd number of lying players. So as of right now, we currently have an even amount. We have Yunsun lied and uh, Ren lied, uh, lied. So in this case, we currently are on two lies. So lies is equal to two. So now, let's keep moving on. We'll come back to you. We don't know what you are quite yet, so let's see what these last two guys have to say. So uh, Jun Suk is going to be, I am lying if it, would, it, it would, if it means I would not become a beggar. Now, what this wants us to do is this wants us to go down to table B, and it essentially wants us to perform, uh, for perform the um, sort of what we normally would do, if we uh, if we were if it was lying, so if we were to take a look, beggar would become cartel, which is what he currently claims to be. In this case, he would not become a beggar. So in this case, he is indeed lying. I am lying if it would means I would not become a beggar. This is true. So he is actually going to become a cartel member, and this moves our lies up to three. Okay. Next up, uh, Jung Moon. Uh, Jung Moon. Uh, I am lying if no two factions have been claimed the same number of times. That is already false because of the fact that we have one from police, one from mafia, and one from rifle, uh, one from cartel. So in this case, uh, more than two factions have claimed the same amount of times, uh, and this includes zero, by the way, because there's sometimes I'd be, for example, I had four mafias and three police in one example. This, in this case, would uh, be an example of cartel and beggar being zero. This case would not be true. So Jung Moon is not lying, so he's actually going to be a beggar himself. So beggar he is. Now, if we go back to um, Yu Yun's rule, it would make the total number of lying players odd. If he were to lie right now, this would make it a number four, which is not odd. So he's actually going to stay as a cartel member. So this is going to be cartel. And now we have determined everyone's actual role uh, and faction that they are a part of. They claim to be this, but they actually are this. So... Let's take a look at the rules, and let's see what we have to do in order to win and solve the module. So, our goal is, is to achieve the most garnets possible in order to get this module to solve. So, we have to do this based off of a couple of different rules here. Each round, four garnets are available to be won, and um, the garnets will be divided according to the following rules. There's going to be a series of three different rules of which we have to follow, and what we essentially want to do is we want to try and figure out the best possible option to where we can get the most amount of um, amount of garnets. So if one or more, if one of the criminal organizations, mafia or cartel, has more members than the other, the four garnets will be evenly split among all members of the more popular organization. So in this case, if we happen to join cartel and we happen to have four members of the cartel, each of us would get one single, um, each of us would get, be able to get one uh, garnet. So cartel would give me a one garnet. Now, if, bo if, if both criminal organizations have the same number of members, in this case, they do not because of the fact that we have significantly more, more cartel than at Mafia. Mafia currently has none. The, uh, the, the four garnets will be evenly split among the police. Uh, in this case, that is not true. We're simply going to ignore that rule. And any leftover garnets will be evenly split among the beggars. Now, if we happen to choose cartel, that wouldn't give me nothing for beggars. So beggars, in this case, would be a zero. Beggar equals zero. Now, there are a couple of rules that we have to make sure if there happens to be some sort of tie in some way, shape, or form. Um, 
Now, the way that it actually splits it splits this stuff up it is it has to be evenly split up, or otherwise it doesn't recede it at all. So the only cases where it can evenly be split up is one. For example, you happen to be the only member, which the uh, one would give you all four garnets. Uh, two being the um, there are two individual members, you, including yourself. Each of them would get two uh, individual garnets, and four is in this case is in this case the uh, possibility of you getting one. So uh, three will give you nothing and five will give you nothing. So that's going to be the way that this works. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, anything above four will obviously give you nothing. Three will also give you nothing. So that's going to be essentially how we're going to determine this. Uh, there might be some cases where a tie pops up. If a tie for a faction choice will grant you the greatest number of garnets, select a tie faction with the few uh, with the fewer people actually selected. So in this case, for example, um, if, if beggars was the result in actually giving me one, I would, for example, choose beggar because of the fact that there are currently less amount of beggars currently on the module. However, in this case, there is no tie for me to actually uh, get the amount here. Uh, however, if we were to select beggar, beggar would also give me a, uh, a zero as well. So that's going to be the case here. The cartel would get nothing, the beggars would get nothing, and then it would be, just be uh, a not a good experience. However, if we were to select cartel, we would be able to get all four of the garnets. Uh, because of the fact that there would be four individual members, and then we would be able to get the most points out of that. But in the, so in this case, this is going to be our answer is going to be cartel. And as you can see, everything flips over to exactly what these factions were actually um, telling the truth instead of what they were claiming to be because they were lying. So that's perfect. And just like that is a solved module. So let's go over one more example. This module can be a little bit tricky with how it actually does this stuff, but it's important to understand how this actually works. So let's take a look at one more example. And hopefully with some more interesting cases, I want to explain the actual tie factions of this um, in a better way. And if the tie persists, select the tie faction that fewer people have claimed. And if the tie per still persists, select any of the answers that are still tied. Hopefully I can get into one of those examples uh, later on because that's actually really, really important that you make sure that you understand how that works, uh, especially in cases where um, all of them could give you a result of zero. That would be a really weird case to happen, but it is indeed possible to happen. Keep that in mind. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we have, um, let's take a look. Let's, tr let's try and get our table B first to see what our claims are going to switch to um, the actual values are. Uh, there is more than one vowel in the serial number. No, definitely not. Four digits. Nope. Uh, port plate with all four. Nope, there's not. Definitely not. Uh, there are at least three empty port plates. We don't actually have any ports at all. So there's not exactly one battery. There's no four distinct ports. Uh, on the bob, no. Uh, lying indicators and a mafia on the bomb. No, no not at all. Uh, doctor, doctor, and a stoichiometry module on the bomb. Nope. Uh, every empty port plate on every port plate on the bomb has exactly one port, and there's at least one port plate. No, there is not. The serial number contains a character from Genius, uh, G3N1US. G3N1US, nope, that's not present. The number of uh, battery holders, indicators, and port plates is exactly 16. Uh, no, I can already tell you that, that's, a, that's not going to happen. The number of consonants in all indicators is a multiple of the number of values, a number of vowels. Um, let's take a look. So the number of consonants in all the indicators, so we have 1, 2, uh, and then three, four. That is indeed a multiple of the amount of vowels that we have because we currently have two vowels and we have four consonants. That is indeed a multiple. So that's going to be this case here. So this uh, this means that everything that everyone that is lying in this case is going to become a mafia member. That's going to be important for us. So let's take a look. So currently we have uh, we currently have police, uh, mafia, beggar. Uh, beggar, uh, Mafia, Cartel, if I can spell it right, and Police. So next up, let's take a look. So Yunsun, Yunsun is going to be right here. One faction has been claimed four or more times. No, actually there isn't. In this case, we have a two, a two, a two, and a one. So no faction has been claimed uh, four or more times. There's actually quite a few ties. This is actually one of the more balanced ones I've seen. So Yunsun is not lying because this rule is not true. So he is actually a Police. Okay, next up, uh, Kyung Hoon. K 
Kill Kun is going to be right here. There are more Mafia claims than Cartel claims. That is true. He is lying. However, based off of the rules that we currently have here uh, and, the, and the rule that applied here, everything is going to become a Mafia member. So this is simply going to stay Mafia. Doesn't matter. Next up, uh, Yo Yun. Uh, in this case, that's going to be if the total number of players uh, lying is odd. Now, we want to keep that in our mind because with the fact that Kyung, uh, Kyung Hoon was indeed lying, we want to note that down as lying equals one right now. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, so we're, we're going to come back to you later because we need to figure out the rest of the players if they were lying or not before we get that rule um, if it's true or not. So let's take a look. Si Young Sun. Uh, Young Sun is going to be I am lying if it means I would be a beggar. Now, we've obviously determined that all of them are going to be Mafia, so this rule is not going to be true. Young Sun is not lying. He is actually a beggar. No. Uh, Dogman uh, is going to be right here. I, uh, I'm lying if I claimed police or beggar. He claimed Mafia. Not true. So Mafia is going to be what that's going to be at right now. So far, not many people are lying. Um, uh, Jung Yung. Uh, Jung Yung is going to be right over here. The number of police and beggar claims are the same. That is true. That is indeed true because of the fact that we have a um, we have two beggars, two police, and that's it. So the number of police uh, and beggar claims are the exact same. The line now becomes a two, and now cartel becomes a mafia. Because if we look over here, mafia is what it becomes. Okay. So now for a final one, uh, Jung Moon. Jung Moon is going to be a right here. No two factions have been claimed the same number of times. Already, that I, I've already, as I pointed out, that is indeed false because we have a two, a two, and a two for three different factions. That's false. So he is not lying. So that's going to be a uh, police member. And now for a final one here, if uh, if Yo Yun was lying, uh, in this case, uh, he is lying if it would make the total number of lying players odd. This is true because of the fact that we have currently two lying players. And if we were to add one more, this would be three, which would be odd. So now he is indeed lying, which means he goes from beggar, his claim, to a mafia member. Okay, this is good. This is looking very promising. Now, so uh, in this case, we have four mafia members. We're going to get rid of this lying right here. And in this case, one or, uh, if one of the criminal organizations, mafia or cartel, has more members than the others, the four garnets will be evenly split among all the members of the more popular organization. In this case, Mafia is claimed four different times, but if we were to select Mafia, this would mean Mafia would give me a, uh, give me, uh, would be a total of five members, which in this case, the four Garnet members would, uh, four Garnets would not be able to split evenly among all of its members, which would result in zero. So Mafia would give me a result of zero. Now, uh, if both criminal organizations have the same number of members, they do not. Uh, Mafia clearly is the winner here. Uh, the four guards will be evenly split among the police. The police will not give me anything. They're not going to the police, that's for sure. So if we were to join the police, nothing would happen. Uh, and also, if we were to join the police, because there's uh, two of them, that would result in three members, which would result in not being able to be evenly split. So that's going to be a zero as well. Uh, and then any leftover garnets will be evenly split among the beggars. Now, what happens if we join beggars, for example? If we were to join beggar, for example, it would give me uh, two individual members, which we're not actually going to get anything because there's going to be no leftover members. So in this case, that's going to be a zero. If we join the beggars, there's going to be two beggars. However, there will still be four different mafia, which will result in um, them each getting one garnet, which still would result in us getting a zero. And finally, joining cartel obviously would not give us anything because of the fact that it's going to be going towards the more popular organization, which in this case would result in a zero. So now here's where things get a little bit interesting. This is where things get definitely a little bit tricky to figure out. Because there is a tie between all of these guys here. No matter what no matter what group we join, we're going to get zero. This is where the tie rules come into play here. If there is a tie for a faction choice that will grant you the greatest number of garnets, in this case there is not, because, there is, because they're all zero. It's not going to be between the greatest number of garnets. It's simply because all of them happen to have a, um, all of them happen to be zero. If the tie persists, Select the tie faction that the few, that fewer people have claimed. In this case, let's see what we can do here. We actually can do cartel, for example. Um, remember that fewer people have claimed. Claimed, for example. In this case, cartel is the one that fewer people have claimed, both uh, with both with them lying and with them actually uh, on the module here. Cartel is the least one present. So in this case, cartel is actually going to be the one that has the fewest people claimed. So that's going to be what we're going to select here. 
regardless of us winning, we're simply going to choose Cartel. And just like that is a solved mod. So let's go, uh, let's go over, I guess, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. So, uh, yeah, just be careful with those triangles and be careful to make sure that you understand how, what evenly split means and what, re what it refers to as claims. In this case, claiming would refer to the uh, mafia that was won on the mod right there. So in this case, moth, um, uh, excuse me, cartel rather, C cartel was only referred to, uh, cartel was only referred to or claimed as, it was only claimed one time. So that's important to make sure that you understand how that works. A couple little, uh, nit a couple little uh, nitpicky things, of course, uh, just make sure you understand how these tie rules work and make sure that you understand the, diff the different terminologies it refers to. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.